Now, you've seen masks a little bit to date, but they're quite useful when we combine them with adjustment layers. Under the Create Layer menu here, I can add a new adjustment layer. And what this can be useful for is to apply a preset to the image down below. So let's bring up the Looks browser and take a look here at some of our options. What I want to do is add an artistic option, and I'm going to bring out Golden Hour. Now this really brought out the color, I like that. Or let's try Big Glow. And that's nice, but it's a little bit strong. Well, since it's on an adjustment layer, everything down below is still adjustable. This means that I didn't lose any of the transformations or custom effects that I applied. But because this is on its own layer, it's easy to adjust the strength. Additionally, you could change the blending mode. So putting this into a mode like soft light actually makes the effect a little bit nicer. Instead of it being over the top, it's now gently blended with the layers. And you see that that glow is creating a nice richness to the color. And if we click on the layer mask here, you have the ability to adjust this. So for example, Maybe I want to create a gradient mask from the top to the bottom, or a luminosity mask. Luminosity is going to analyze the brightness of the image and create a custom mask based upon the light and dark areas. It takes a moment, but you'll see a new mask thumbnail added. If you don't like the results, you can also run it again to get a slightly different luminosity mask each time. There we go. And now, you can see that that effect is much more subtle because the glow is not being applied to the bright areas, but rather is doing a nice job of emphasizing the shadows. That's because the luminosity mask is controlling where the effect is applied. Now, let's go ahead and click on this and choose Gradient Mask. And if I make the mask visible, I can really see it. And now I can further blend this from top to bottom like so. See? And we can adjust the mask itself to create a new blend. That looks good, so it's a little bit more at the top. I'll choose Done, and now it updates. And you see how the adjustment layer is applied. So the key benefit here with adjustment layers is that it gives you the ability to audition looks without having to redevelop all of the brackets or the source files underneath. By making an adjustment layer, you can apply a creative look very easily. Then, take advantage of options like blending modes, as well as opacity, to refine the effect. This will let you dial in the look so it is perfect and not too strong.